Yes. Good morning, everyone. I believe that William Shakespeare said a very long time ago, to sex or not to sex. That is truly the question. But society views uh, sexting with a bad connotation because of many of the negative effects that have occurred. Um, but I am here to dispel all of these uh, so-called negative issues and show that sexting, when used correctly, can actually strengthen positive relationships and increase your sex life and, while, and do all this while no sexual risks are given. Before we get into the positive aspects of sexting, I feel like it is my duty as a public speaker and sexting advocate to make sure that you are all aware of how to sex safely. News, <laughs> news sources are quick to shed a negative light to sexting because of recent scandals, uh, many of which involve um, Brett Favre, a recent uh, New York Jets quarterback, former New York Jets quarterback. Brett sent nude photos to two and two of the New York Jets employees, and uh, he, after the result, received a fifty thousand dollar fine with, by the NFL. It's sort of uh, well, it's difficult to pinpoint why um, this sex was so expensive and money with fifty thousand dollars. But in the long run, it's important to see where he went wrong. He really didn't know the people he was sexting. It's important to figure out who you're sexting and build a trusting relationship with instead of just two random dancers or a trainer or whoever you send the pictures to that we don't know. And you should know them well, and they should be a reliable source. Um, so even football quarterbacks have the need to sex, but they should make sure that they should trust the sexting receiver like they should trust their wide receiver in the NFL. Um, these employees had significant blackmailing advantages over Brett. Um, and they were put in the sticky situation of having to deal with all the long-term issues. So after the season, they made sure that they filed up because Brett was no longer on the team and couldn't pose any threat. Um, but I feel like this is important because blackmail, although is not very um, moral, I guess you could say, can um, lead to better sexting. When you're in a relationship, it's important that both parties receive pictures or anything that you could use against them because if both parties have bad pictures, it would be unlikely that both would be sent to the public. And it uh, poses a better, healthier relationship because a USA article said that 29% of teens today have received pictures through third-hand parties. And this is a huge number and we want to make sure that if you use this blackmail to your advantage, these pictures won't be sent out as much. Brings me to another very important topic. Even though it's blackmailing, I think you should love instead of hate when you sex. Because if you're doing it out of a good nature, out of improving the overall quality of life, everything can end up better. And um, out of hate is where you start to go wrong. Many technological advances have also been done to make sexting safer, um, which includes the Safe Sexting iPhone app. In this iPhone app, you're able to put a black box or a bar and many other features over any picture and easily send them out to your friends. So this way, it sort of diminishes the effect of having a fully nude picture sent everywhere. So things are being done to help make everything safer. And actually, Cosmo Magazine uh, recommends safe sexing app in their 50 thing, more things to do while naked. <laughs> Now that you are more equipped with, to battle the few aspects of sexting, you are ready to discover one of the main benefits of sexting. It leads to less risky sexual behavior. Uh, many, um, it is very important because it actually does not increase sex partners. The more you sex, the less sex partners you actually have. Oh, not the less sex, but it doesn't increase them. Um, and actually, by using this as an alternative to sex, you, there's no pregnancy involved and no SCDs can be uh, transmitted through text, texts. And in the Frisky, they released a news article that said set, that preached sexing is a safe way to test out flirtation. It leaves little commitment because if you're not very good at sexting, then you could try it and receive a negative result. You could just stop there. You could hang up or just not respond. So they actually recommend starting it out so it overall improves in the real relationship when you're in the physical presence of someone else. Now that you're aware of why um, sexting is okay, let's get into the details of why sexting is awesome. <laughs> um, 
Um, when used correctly, sexting can improve your overall sex life and personal relationships. It's amazing that one sex during the middle of the day can really perk your sexual drive and lead to pleasure down the road. Uh, down the line, David Wynett says, says in his article, The Fine Art of Sexting, that a fun banter back and forth can lead to more passionate sex. He believes that all women love to be seduced, and this is truly the new way. I, re I recommend that you use his advice, particularly in relationships. It lets your partner know what you are thinking, and uh, it also helps you maintain and enhance uh, your emotional bond while you are physically apart. A little sex here and there can really spice up the relationship and can help uh, overall sense of well-being. Now that you have heard the benefits of relationships, I now <laughs> announce that you guys are experts in the field of sexting and you should go out and try it for yourselves. You are now aware of how to safe, safely sext, develop less, sexual, less risky sexual behavior, and know how to leverage sexting to improve your overall sex life and personal relationships. Now let's return to Shakespeare's question. To sex or not to sex? Expert sexers, you now have the power in the palm of your hands. Use it. Thank you. <laughs>